All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, where this could be perhaps the finale episode. I mean, you can tell by the title if it is or not, because you have, at this point, more knowledge about the episode than I do, thanks to the power of time travel and, you know, editing. <laughs> but we have the Zangetsu, and I'm pretty sure we've done everything we need to do in terms of being able to defeat Jeebel and uh, relinquishing the demon that comes after him. But I'm not entirely sure if that's what's going to get us the, like, final, final ending. I mean, there's probably a multiple endings to this game, depending on what you do and things you get. But at least we might be able to get an ending that doesn't say game over if we fight Jeebel right now. So I've saved. I've got some uh, food that we can eat. What took you so long? Well, now that you've tasted the power of so many shards, I presume you're ready to join me. And I wonder if this uh, is going to be the same cutscene as before, but we'll let it play out. You presume wrongly. I'm here to keep my promise to you, and nothing else. What promise? You really have forgotten, then. I swore to you that I would stop you if your Shardbinder power ever manifested itself against your will. You made the same oath to me. Please! You think I wield this power unwillingly? I do. I've known it since our meeting on the Galleon. But there was a moment when I saw a flicker of the real Jeebel beneath all that hate. Fool! I've had enough! If you want to stop me, you'll have to do it by force. As you wish. It's time to free you of this once and for all. Time to stab you with Zengetsu sword. Now I wonder, do we have to hit him with it, or do we have to wait for the, like, the secret boss to start coming out? I wonder. Get here with your sar shards. I'm a duck it. I'm a duck it. I also learned we can do this. Oh wait, no, hold on. That's gonna explode. We can do, what is it, this one? Oh no! Lightning! Hold on, it's... Why is it not working? I'm trying to do the slash, man. Let me do the slash. Let me do the, let me do the uber slash, come on. There we go. We do that big, huge circle slash. I'm wondering if that'll help us get anything. It's a little hard to pull off, because I haven't practiced it. I just know how to do it. Oh, no! Wow, oh, come on. There we go. It's good for a critical. It's a little hard to pull off, but uh, does a lot of damage. Ooh, yes! We killed him! Thanks to the crits. I didn't want to use my water. You... <laughs> You... You did the right thing, Miriam. Thank you. Did we get the bad end again? But was it the right Oh no, have we, did we not find the proper way to kill the boss then? <laughs> With that many shards bound to you, you will be all too easy to possess. Usurper. Huh, so we got another ending, I guess. So, I guess we killed him, and we did. We got a different ending, because we didn't end it so early. But I guess we've missed something. Was there something I was supposed to do? We also got a little bit of Miriam speaking there, but I couldn't hear what she was saying, because there was no subtitles for me to read. But definitely something there that we've missed. And I, I'm going to check the map again, but I don't think there's anywhere else that we could perhaps start going. Unless we just have to start wandering around and looking for secrets. Uh, which in that case... who oh boy! I mean, it has been a while since we've started this adventure, so I might need to look up maybe a lore point I've missed to... Oh, I've got to use this on him first, or something. To make him remember! Maybe there's like a shard binder thing I could do. But as far as I know, we have the Zengetsu, the Zengetsudo, which is the sword that bops him pretty good. That lady wants like a, a spicy omelet now. What else could there be? So let's go ahead and check the map, see if there's anywhere else we could possibly travel to. Because this is, let's go, Shmya. There, that's where we have to go for Jeebel. But where else could there possibly be to travel that could give us maybe another bit? Because we only explored 80% of the map, so there's got to be 
one more area in which we haven't explored that could lead us to a new place where something else can happen. Maybe it's the galleon? No, it's not the galleon. It shouldn't be the galleon. Because we've gone all the way up here, and we found this place, and I think we've done every exit here. We've explored the entire old sorcery lab. We've explored the entire... Uh, Dianset Cathedral, at least from what we can see, right? There's no edges to the, the white that I'm looking for, no extra doors. There is this place down here, which is... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here, which is the War Horse's Key, but we haven't found that yet. And it's probably just another secret boss that maybe doesn't do anything? Who knows? Maybe we need to do something with the Zangetsu? in order for it to actually work against them. But even this sorcery lab over here, we've explored that, and there was nothing there. Uh, toggle travel history? Oh yeah, right, that's for the the lines. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything up around this area, so I'm not exactly sure where it wants us to go in terms of finding a new area. Because I don't see anything. I honestly don't see any place where we could go. Unless it's in here, and we have to go to here and find, like, maybe break a wall or something. Well, let's go check out Johannes and see what we have. Because I thought 100% that, like, fighting Zangetsu was going to be the thing that unlocked the last bit. It's good to I mean, I did have a bit of, uh, enhanced shard craft. Maybe I can craft a new weapon with the Zangetsu or something. Who knows? Let's check over on the right here. The Andromeda. Ooh, that's pretty cool. The Albiero, Dragon's Wrath, and an Imbruid Skull. Hmm. So this is looking like a lot of stuff that we could find, but there's like monsters we haven't seen yet. See the Dojigiri? Yeah, it's not looking like anything we'd need. Oh, that's a good spear. You need three spears to get it, though. Huh. Huh. So, yeah, there, it looks like there's possibly a place that we haven't found yet, which is probably 100% certain. But where could it be, though? Where could that place specifically be? Because I'm not seeing it on the map. Huh, we may have to take uh, another venture into the... I can't believe I'm blanking on this. The, um, Oriental Sorcery Lab. To make sure we have everything there, because there could be a secret wall here that leads out somewhere, but I don't think there is, because we pretty much explored that place a hundo. Or maybe we could go back to the ship? Is the ship, like, a, a, a thing? But we've been to the ship, though. So what could it possibly be that we are missing? Oh, did we have to invert the Jeeble fight? Oh, maybe we have to invert the Jeeble fight. That could be a thing we have to do. We can try that again. We can try that. In the Hall of Termination. I really should save at the Hall of Termination, so if we get another game over, we'll just spawn right there. But uh, maybe inverting the Jeeble fight will cause something to happen. Get out of here. Fairy dust. Give me that fairy dust. Love it. Fairy dust is delicious. Tastes like Puschetti and meatballs. Covered in fairy dust. <laughs> Alright, so... Because we have that move with, uh... With the Zangetsudo. I'm not sure what it does, but we'll find out. Hmm, maybe we have to reflect something with the Zangetsudo? We'll try a bunch of different stuff, because there's got to be... There's gotta be a way, there's gotta be a trick to this, because that was just too easy. It was far too easy. And we can skip the scene this time, because we definitely have seen it. And I'm hoping maybe Miriam didn't give me the clue, like the, the, the way to beat this. In the thing I couldn't hear, which would suck, because I can't hear it from here. Because if I can hear it, then, you know, the whole thing's gonna be weird. If I just flip the Jeeble fight, can I, like, maybe get behind him or something and... Oh no, he's just like, I can attack you up there, it doesn't matter. He's like, doesn't matter where I am. Oh, do I just have to wait? Maybe I have to wait in the fight and just wait for the... Wait for him to summon the girl. The giant demon who's taken over his stuff. 
Because he's not strong at all. Does so attack the moon? <laughs> That'd be hilarious if I actually did have to attack the moon. That would have been great. I would have I laughed. I would have done a very big lull. An audible lull into the microphone. I'm going to see if I can't... Uh, do that thing in midair, the circle technique. That one right there. I forget what it's called. But I don't think we can do it in midair, though. Are you going to summon your lady? I will blood steal, though, for all that delicious health. Let's check out our shards. Let's see what we can possibly have. For. We've got Craftwork, Beast Guardian, Shadow Tracer, Bunny Morphosis, and Sacred Shade. Detective's Eye, Familiar Silver Knight. Hmm. I'm beginning to wonder if there's perhaps something different about this. Maybe we maybe we do need another item. Something else in addition. Oh, maybe we have to talk to Dominique. That could be a thing. It could be a thing. A super huge thing. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, I thought that was him summoning the, the lady. It's just him being a jerk, that's all. Tried to hit the dog, but it wasn't working. I also can't do the the huge circle attack. There we go. So I slashed him. The moon is red. We did the right thing. And the moon is red now. Was it the right thing? Let's see if I can hear what she says. Oh, that's the woman saying, with that many shards bound to you, you'll be all too easy to possess. Okay, I, I keep forgetting her name, and I feel so bad, because they've only said it a few times, but it's the giant demon lady who is possessing Jeebel. So, with all that many shards bound to you, you'll be too easy to possess. So, we need to find a way to sever the tie between Jeebel and the demon, but how? So, de let's definitely go talk to Dominique. She might have an answer for us. Which, I don't think so, because... I have talked to her in the off time to go get materials to craft all the pizzas and stuff. Because, you know, I got pizzas and things for the final boss fights. You never go anywhere without pizza. So, I don't think she gave any, like, pertinent information. But, so we've got two different endings now. We've got the super bad ending. We've got the I've replaced you ending. And now we're going to have the... Hopefully the good ending, or at least un-good ending. One of the good endings. So, Arventville. We may also have to just start going places and exploring around and going to every area and, you know, retracing all of our steps. Because you never know what we've missed. That's just what games like this are. Sometimes you just have to go and figure out stuff on your own. Retrace all of your steps. I wanted to see if I could go through that that beam in the in the in the top in the tippy top of the roof there the support beam. So I'm sorry, I'm just thinking. Have anything you would like me to buy back? Have anything you'd like me to buy back? No, I, I actually want to talk to you. Thank you. Come back anytime. So there are still demons outside. Yeah, there's still demons. And then what's his face hasn't come back yet. We can sit. But nobody's going to take our picture. Because everybody's a jerkwad. Nobody wants to make me beautiful anymore. Because they hate me. <laughs> Johannes won't say anything, I don't think, either. Are you eating properly? What are we Am I eating properly? I'm not eating anything, sir. Uh, yeah, there's no crafting the weapon or preparing anything, so... Hmm... Where could I possibly go for answers? There's probably like an oracle or something somewhere that's like, we can go here for answers. But you forgot, because that was like in the beginning of the game, and then, the, and then you went ahead and did things, but you couldn't do the things because the beginning of the game. I, I don't remember everything, you guys. Oh no, not one damage. Hmm. So, let's see the context clues and what else we can do with what we have because there's still 
some areas of the game where, you know, we haven't been. Shards, detective's eye, on, off. I don't know why the circle goes away. I like having the circle. Circle reminds me that things are still good and great and wonderful. And that things won't change on me. Without me saying so. The game won't just take away my power, okay? Hmm, and I'm wondering... I guess I could sit here. Not that much would happen if I do. But I guess it's just your first glimpse into sitting. Uh, there's nothing up here, is there? Oh, I guess I just automatically invert if I hit the edge of the screen. That's cool. If I hit the edge of the screen, I just invert. So I guess we'll just sort of start backtracking, because Jesus, I, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go, and I don't know what to do. And it's uh, pretty difficult. Trying to figure out what could be done. Yo, HP max up? Yo, and MP max up? Yo, what up? That's dope. I didn't even know that was up there. Secrets for y'all. Take them, if you please. I please. I, I just was like, maybe something's up here. Who knows? And there was. An HP and an MP max up. Perfect. For every need you have. And yeah, I know we're running through, like, the main first area again. Which, by the way, this is almost nostalgic now. That we're going through here. With all, like, the, the chairs and the bones and the Kickstarter backer portraits and everything. It's super cool, man. It's great. It's wonderful. It's, like, the best thing ever. It's nostalgia trip, bro. And remember this guy? Who was, like, super strong. Now he dies super easy. Because he's a punk. And there's nothing here we can do anything about, right? There's no, like, secret hidden stuff if we slash the chain. Huh. I mean, I hope I didn't miss, like, a an item that I would need. I mean, I'm pretty sure we missed an item we needed, but... Huh. What could it be? And then there's no, like, other NPC prompts that came up either. I mean, I could just look it up right now, but I kind of want to, you know, give it my own try. Get some Alkahest from these ghosts. Where their bodies aren't technically despawning. Because I kill them so hard. The Aqua Jet is so powerful, it does not despawn the dead bodies. I mean, remember when we were so proud that we took all the blood out of this? Remember, remember that? Man, I was so proud of myself. I was, okay? You can't make me not proud of myself. I was like, I am a pretty boy. And I did it. And I'm the one who figured out all the things that had to do with anything. You didn't figure anything. Alright, so I'm going to look it up here. Just because I kind of want this to be the last episode. If it can be. Okay, so I kind of had the right-ish idea way back when... Remember that one, like, area where we had to walk along the balcony and there was the huge red moon in the background? And I said, man, there's probably going to be a secret boss here or something around along those lines. Well, it turns out... In the Zang, or not in the Zangat pseudo fight, but in this Jeebel fight at the end, one thing, I don't know if I comment on it, but the moon started glowing deep red. And I didn't hit it. I thought I already tried to hit it and nothing happened. But we actually need to slash the moon after we hit uh, Jeebel here a bit. So we're going to keep an eye on that moon a little bit uh, more closely than, you know, we normally would. So you keep slashing him a few times, let him get his magic up. See if, uh... Oh, God! Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? He's never done that. Okay, that was pretty weak. That was cool, but weak. He's never hit me with that before, and I got scared. What if I just start bouncing on your head? Why don't you bounce on your head? Oh, no, that was not the right one. Fine, electrocute me. I'll just slap you, and then bounce on your head. So, I was kind of right with that one... Moon being like, man, why is the moon glowing here? I think we have to attack that at some point with something to get a secret boss. And I was kind of right. So there we go. The moon is now glowing red. So we actually have to, I think, slash the moon. There we go. That reveals the archdemon. At last, 
The Leaper Logai is mine! Think again. And is that all? Do we have to find out something else now? Miriam, I've... I've missed you. <laughs> I knew you were in there. I knew it. You kept your promise. Thank you. Ooh, he's looking all, uh, crystally grotesque. What's going on? No, the corruption shouldn't spread this fast. It's... it's better this way. The world can be rid of me. But this... this castle... We can't allow it to... Shh, I know. I know I'll destroy it. But you're going to live, Jibo. <laughs> I'm glad I got to see you soon. He's gone, Crystal. One last. Aw, oh, man, he's all like blood crystal now. Quick, kick him and shatter him. Jibo. Jibo! He's stuck like that for evers. I bet you if we hit that statue, it'll shatter, and we probably get something bad. You shouldn't have come to this, my friend. Are you ready, Johannes? I am if you are. Yes. I have a new promise to keep. If you plan to destroy the castle, you won't be able to do it without the Lieber Logaiath. Then I need to track down Alfred. Gremory will be after him, too. Tracking Gremory might be faster. The moon, you mean? I'll try it. So that's your big hint going through tracking the moon. That one balcony that had the huge moon on it. Yeah, that was Gremory the whole time, casting her evil shenanigans over the whole thing. And that was like your kind of first clue that she was hiding in the moon, was that the moon was discolored and red and evil and blah blah blah. So I should have known that from the whole get-go, but uh, I just I didn't think of it in the final boss fight because I thought... Going by older Castlevania things, I thought that that... I thought the moon turned red when I killed him the first time when I first took note of it. And I didn't want to keep fighting him over and over again. And trying to do it on, on screen. So that's why I, like, I figured it out that the moon had something to do with it. I just thought it wasn't exactly what it was. I thought it was a secret boss, honestly. So, with this we can teleport back to, I believe, the Garden of Silence. And that will get us where we need to go. Yeah, right here. Actually, the entrance will be faster. No, no, the Garden of Silence will be faster. Because you can just... Nah, I think the other one would have been faster, but oh well. Too bad, we did it. Screw it, we're doing it live! And this should give us access to either the final boss or the final, like, area of the boss. Because we still have, like, 17, 18, 19% of the map to still uncover. As we sit here with our beautiful, long, flowing hair and our flowing fairy scarf. As this guy is just like, I, I like chicken. And he's like, we're here. And I'm like, I don't want to be here. He's like, too bad. You're going to be here forever. But I believe the moon. Yeah, see, here's the moon right here. And as you can tell, it's in the foreground, not the background. Which means you cut it. And that's the girl, and she's like, Grimmery, how could you figure out I was here? Nah. <laughs> Silver Knight's like, I got you, bro. And then you jump into the portal after them. Must be into her pocket dimension or something. <gasps> the Den of Behemoths. Oh, God. What is this place? So this, is this the inverted castle? Oh, no. Are we, are we about to, like, do a whole inverted castle shtick? Is this game twice as long as I thought it was? After getting invert, we invert the castle again. So which way do you think the save point would be? So we can be like, okay, I thought this was the final episode. Turns out, no. Nope. Okay, bye. I think the save point would be the other way, perhaps? As we do this kick that is obviously not... Uh, obviously not very optimal for traversal speed at all. But, uh, oh... Oh, we got a uh, firearm expertise. Nice, I didn't even see what was there that got us that. We are very small here. We are super tiny. Oh my god, the frog's a giant toad. Get out of here, Todd. Todd, I was going to say, get out of here, Todd. 
Just get out, Todd. If anybody's named Todd, I don't apologize. Get out. <laughs> I said, get out, Todd. Why do you have to be this way? Todds don't like water, just so you know. Oh my god, there's huge stuff in here. Is this like a, uh, a dollhouse version of the castle? Is that what we're in here? Is this why it's called like the Den of Behemoths? Is because we're actually not... Everything isn't giant, we're just tiny. Is that what happened here? Does Grimmery have a dollhouse in which she controls things like an Amityville Horror? Amityville Horror? Because I believe Amityville Horror was the one where... Uh, that was where the dollhouse was like an exact replica of the house and it was like super haunted and terrible things happened. And there was like dolls of the people inside the house and if things happened to the dolls, they would also happen to the people and everything inside the house. And I haven't seen it in a long time, you guys, so <laughs> I wouldn't even know. I just remember the Amityville Horror might be the dollhouse one. Oh, hey, look, it's Alfred, the idiot. I hope you die. I hope you die tiny. Alfred! Uh, the, the book? The Liber Logaith? What about it? She... She stole it. Yeah, because you're a weak old man. I brought your apprentice like you... What happened here? Master, who did this to you? Thank you, Zangetsu. Johannes... I must break a boon of you. What? Uh, all right. Miriam, we need to talk. Uh, yes. Miriam, we've got to talk. Why are you blue? I... I thought Alfred was our enemy. Dominique seemed so keen on pitting me against the old alchemist that I decided to have a word with him after you and I fought. And unfortunately, he confirmed my suspicion. Dominique's evil, I told you! Which is? Dominique has been manipulating us this whole time. I'm not certain why. I told you that blonde women in high heels can't be trusted. Uh, wait, what? If she had wanted to deal with this mess in an expedient manner, she would have sent you and me to deal with Jeebel together. But instead... She divided our strength, and insisted I chase after Alfred. It didn't make any sense. Alfred was never trying to get in our way. I'm not sure about you, but he got in my way. You misunderstand. All he wanted was to keep you as far away from the castle as possible. Why? Because you were the most attuned. Attuned to what? Of all the humans transplanted with crystal, you had the greatest ability to wield the demon's power. Alfred feared you would be used. Then why didn't he say so? Would you have believed him? Dominique had already won over you and Johannes both. And even if you had been inclined to listen, he knew you too well to think that you would back down. I... I suppose I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have backed down. Although, I told you never to trust blonde women in high heels, so <laughs> I would have cut her down. What do you think Dominique is plotting? As I said, I know not. We will just have to find her. And ask her. I'm gonna cut her so bad. Miriam, the master wants to talk to you. I'm gonna cut her hair off first. I'm gonna cut her heels. Not not her actual heels, her shoes. Miriam, forgive me for dragging you into all this. I am responsible for all your misfortunes. I hope you can find it in your heart to Boy dead. Alfred. I don't forgive you. You didn't ask before you die. He must have known he would not leave here alive. We can grieve later. Right now, we need to put an end to all this, or his death will mean nothing. 
You're right. Mer Miriam is on Joanna. the case, bros. He explained everything to you. Yes. I know what I need to do. You need to cut off the witch's hair. Then let us begin. First, Grimmery. She can't be far. But her mastery of subspace allows her to move about freely. In other words, she's likely to slip away again. I have a way of stopping her from leaving. Is all those talismans on your body? She knows I have given up the Zangatsuto. And will spring at me then. Believing me powerless. That is when you strike. I will go on ahead. Join me as soon as you think you are ready. I'm ready right now, baby. Give me a save point and I'm ready. That's all I ever need. Just a save point. I can't do much of anything until you get back the Liber Logayath. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. But for now, this is in your hands, Miriam. Be safe. I will, Johannes. I'll be in the village if you need me. Girl, I ain't gonna be nowhere. You get out of here with your... I'll be in the village if you need me. I'm gonna cut off a blonde's hair for being a witch. Can I, can I loot his body? Yeah. No. He's got nothing on him anyway. Rags. Rags and... Garbage. It's all these old men ever have. Rags and garbage. You're on a save point. Show me to the save point. You're the save point. That would be odd. That would be a very new convention for save pointing. Well, let's just keep going left because I really want to get a save point before we go anywhere with this. Before I save or do anything. Because that guy's just like, I'm going to turn around and give you this big boy. I'm like, I don't want none of that. Thank you. 500 gold, please. 500 gold ain't even enough to satiate my hunger. Because eggs are like $100, you guys. Eggs are expensive in this world. It's ridiculous. Milk is so expensive. Bread's like 500 Are you kidding me? I don't got no 500 for bread. God, I just want to make some consomme, and it's like, oh, you got $700,000? I'm like, I don't got 700000 tears to cry that I don't have $700,000. Oh my god, will you please just give me a save point game? I get it. I'm a Metroidvania. Everybody likes exploring me. I don't care. I just want to save the game. <laughs> Y'all just need to let me save the game and then let me be on my way. So that way the next episode can be the end of the, uh, end, of the uh, end of the series. Oh my god. This boy, Silver Wolfman. Guess what? Get dead. Get deaded. Marvis? Oh, that's just a Leo, but not as cool. Can I invert this and go somewhere cool? <gasps> Yo, what is that? Giant bat. Okay. So we're just in the we're just in the dollhouse, you guys. That's it. We're just in the dollhouse. I get you. Mil oh, millionaire's key! <gasps> Dope, we can go fight the millionaire and take all his stuff. I mean I'm gonna. I was wondering where that was, and we found it. Giant bats, uh, no, I'm not too happy about those giant bats. They seem a little ornery. And they keep dropping items, but it's out of my reach, so hopefully they just go all to me. Hopefully it's like, bling, 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 you got all the items. And I'll be like, thank you, game. But you know what I really do need? Uh, apparently from whatever that thing is up there. What is that, Abyssal Guardian? Oh, God, what is an Abyssal Guardian? Well, whatever it is, it's huge. I mean, I ain't afraid of no ghost. I also ain't afraid of no Abyssal Guardian, because he's, <laughs> he's up there and I'm down here. Or am I up here and he's down there? Haha! <laughs> HP max up. Give me that, it's huge. I like how they play with space and size in this part of the game. It makes it feel differentiato. Oh, look at that. 500 gold. I mean, not amazing. Not great. Is this a, is this a save point? God damn, where is these save points? And now all these... Everything's back. What was down here? Toads? Just please. Summon Toad. And a demon's eye. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that all day, every day. What's this? A thousand jills, huh? Ugh, I want a thousand jills. What up, dragon? Have water. Are you dead? Good. Give me your shard. Give me all the dargon. What do you do? Void Ray, send a blast of dark energy in a designated direction. That's probably really dope. And I would use it if I could find a save point. 
Uh, but there are no save points for people like me. They don't give us save points. Not where I'm going. Where I'm going, we don't need save points. Oh, a familiar! Is it a Buer familiar? Yeah, cool. We can have the wheelie boy. Although, Silver Knight, let's be honest. Silver Knight's the jam. He's the boy. He's been with us for so long. He was like one of the first secret boys we ever found. And he will remain as such in our party. And also because he's like one of the strongest. MP max up. So there's a lot of good stuff here, but still no teleport or save point. Gotta be honest, I'm a little upset. Wait, is this just the... Is this just the... Like... I think this is. Because there's no flying pigs, but... This is just the area of the... Of the castle where that big drawbridge is out. Where the guy... On the... Chariot... Basically just... Takes us across. Alright. Alright, cool. Cool enough. Demon Fang. Alright, we'll, we'll just... Inverse here so we can get the map filled out. Perfect. Because we're basically just doing this to fill up the map and also find a save point. I mean, if that's the case... Wait, can I destroy this? Oh my god. A giant Mako. Giant Mako weed underneath that rock was like, I know where there's a snack here. And I'm like, there's no snack here. Sir, no snack. No snacky patooties. No snackies. Swiper, no swiping. Snacker, no snacking. That's just how it is. That's what that's what it would be if Swiper was a fatty and only liked eating cookies. It'd be snacker, no snacking, and everyone wouldn't have an issue with it. Because they'd be like, well, maybe he just should stop stealing Dora's snacks. And then we'd be and then we'd be all be fine. Inverse all the way up here. Oh my god. Well, we'll just do we'll, we'll, we'll outline the room. We'll find out where uh, where we need to go here. There's probably a save point somewhere down here. Oh my god, giant fly trap. Venus fly trap. And a giant Venus fly trap came out of nowhere. I'm sure there's... I'm sure there's. this is like a perfect analog to somewhere in the castle. I just don't remember where. It's better be a save point though. Is it? Nope. Alright, so we might have to... Uh, I'm going to have to use the teleport ability, the waystone, to go save and then come back next episode. Because it's already been going on for like 40 minutes, and I don't want it to go on much longer than that. Because, hey, guess what? That's a long-ass episode, man. Boom. Level up. Perfect, perfect, perfect time. Because we also got some waystones. So we're going to go here, use a waystone, chill out. And we can always make our way back there. We know how to get back there. There's that uh, portal in the sky thanks to the moon that we cut. I knew that moon was something. You don't just give a moon like that and expect nothing to happen. Got any, tar any targets? All right, still those boys. Oh, and in the next episode, we can take on the millionaire. Yes, we can. Because we have the millionaire's key. So, thank you all for joining me on what was supposed to be the final episode of Bloodstained Ritual of Night, but something happened, and it's not anymore. So, <laughs> next episode's probably going to be the final episode, let's be honest. We're getting there, and we've got, like, what? What's the percentage of the map done? 88.5? Oh yeah, we're, we're in the last final stretch. We're going to get everything done here. We're going to kill Gremory, we're going to find out what's going on, we're going to save Jeebel, and turn Miriam... Never back to her original color. Let's be honest. Mer Miriam is way better. She looks like she definitely belongs in the court of the Mer people and the Vanderbilt Empire. So once again, thank you all for joining me. And until next time, take care, everybody. The hours fly. Years go by. Then the morning comes.